you at present day everyone so we're back for the next module for English for Academic and Professional Purposes. And yes, may paayuda na naman tayo mong sagot. Okay, so for this week, we have ways of elucidating concepts. The word, but then again, before we proceed to the discussion, credit to the writer, editor, reviewer, and the entire development team of the module, especially for the SBA Compounder. Okay? So, let's start. So, for this module, you are expected to first define a concept paper, two, enumerate ways in elucidating concepts, and three, apply the ways in elucidating the concept. So what about elucidating the concept, okay? So learning about the, the ways of elucidating concepts will help you define, clarify, and expand terms in a brand new way. So we will get to have a, a new strategy, new techniques on how to clarify concepts and terms that are different from the usual, okay? So let's start. So, of course, we want to clarify a meaning or uh, a meaning of a concept or term through a concept paper. So, the concept paper, ito yung academic writing na nagbibigay ng meaning or in meaning uh, you could also consider further details or discussion through a concept paper. Uh, so, this one involves writing definition. And definitions are used to provide meaning of a particular word or a term. Uh, we always need the definition to say in this way we get to know what 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 the essence of the concept is or what really is that term. Okay? So this may be formal, informal, or extended. Okay. So let's start with formal sentence definition. So ano haba yan? With the word formal. So yung formal and the yung term class and distinguishing features. So the term is a word to be defined. So for example, computer, union the define word. So the class or genus is the group where the term belongs and the distinguishing features or differentia are the qualities that make the term unique. So example matter na so example is the term computer. So I mean class or genus. Yeah so it's a shang electronic device. So distinguishing feature or differentia it is for storing and processing of data. So kung ba si computer meron siyang sariling class or genus na may mga iba't iba pa tayong electronic devices. But then you need the distinguishing uh, feature. Another is um, highlighter. So a highlighter term uh, a highlighter term is a writing material or a writing tool for the new class of genus, genus that is intended to accentuate or to uh, emphasize a particular text that you want to highlight. So something like that, okay? So a cell phone is an electronic device used for communicating and uh, and for using uh and for other useful functions. So now like this, I just made that up. But then again, you, know, you have the term, you have the class of genus, you have the distinguishing feature. So for the internal definitions, man, you do not include a distinguishing feature. So for example, pencil. A pencil is an instrument for writing or drawing. You know, so well actually the class of genus. Uh, a paper is for putting paper together, okay? Uh, a ballpoint is for writing uh, words or symbols permanently, okay? Extended definitions, on the other hand, are as a less text that, uh, that use different rhetorical patterns to show the meaning of a particular term or so, it is not only Thomas, it is comprehensive. Okay? So, extended definition essays or concept papers do not just define, but again, like what I mentioned earlier, you describe, you compare and contrast, you show cost and effect relationships. 
para yung reader na imagine niya lang buo yung term. So, for the reader to have uh, a holistic definition of the term. So, in order to clearly define, <laughs> in order to clearly define a concept, remember the following steps. Okay, so first, in formal definition, avoid using the same terms to be defined. So, ibawa, uh, yung asabi mo, a ball pen is a ball pen, hindi siya pwede gano'n. Or a cell phone is a phone, pero nasabi na kasi yun, so you don't do that, ngunit mo lang. So, uh, para mo sinabi, ang mabait na tao ay isang tao, o tao nga, kasi nasabi mo na lang tao siya din sa una. And then, in writing definition, um, serve the concept of mutual exclusivity. So what does that mean? To make sure that the feature of the term do not overlap with the similar concept of the same class. Salamat, sinabi mo. A skateboard is a mode of transport that has four wheels, which is the same with a car. Okay? So, pwede maguluhan. Okay? So, third more, a definition is essential. Yes, why is it essential? It's essential because it is used in developing concepts. It is the core of a concept paper. Bahay na ginawa ng concept paper kasi nga may kinaklarify ka na concept. So purposes. First, to clarify meaning of words or to correct misinterpretation or misuse of a term. Di ba kaya nga kapag nilaroon tayo ng words na hindi masyadong maitindihan, tinitignan natin yung meaning sa dictionary. So yung makikita mong meaning sa dictionary is the formal sentence definition. Okay? Next. Second, uh, to stipulate the meaning of a term by limiting, extending, or redirecting the sense in which a term is usually understood. So, to use a term borrowed from another field of knowledge in a special way. So, halimbawa, uh, meron ng existing na uh, idea kapag nabasa mo yung word na yun, iba yung papasok sa otak mo. Pero, bago siyang term or iba yung pagkakadami ng term na yun. Uh, it's borrowed as I mentioned. For now, window dressing. Sa imagine natin, merong bintana, tapos may dress. So it's not like that, okay? It is used to make a, used to make a shop window more attractive to buyers. Yun yung uh, original mong may insert. Tapos ang window dressing, um, in, uh, if you could see it in the shop, like there are glass windows wherein uh, you, could, you could see the this full dress, yung mga outfits yung nilalagay sa window, so may pag-window dress, but in accounting or accountancy, you also use that. It, 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 uh, it is the stipulated use in uh, false banking report para mak mak makapagpakita na kunwari, stable or may financial growth. Doon sa particular na ano, a company or wherever that is. Okay? So, kumbaga, Same yung concept, gusto na mapakita na maganda kasi they're different in some at some point, okay? So, ways in elucidating concept. So, first, again, it's the formal. May term, may genus, may differential, or the differentiating characteristic. For example, a robot is a machine that looks like a human being and performs complex acts of human being, okay? Then, uh, the site Webster, okay? Um, in the slide, okay. Uh, see the name on the other hand, the word or a phrase that shares a meaning with the term in the sign. Okay? So, kung halimbawa, but by the way, make sure, when you illustrate content, make sure that hindi ka lang right click synonym. Kasi hindi lahat ng synonym is pwedeng gamitin uh, just like how you use the original term, okay? So, for example, you have to say, um, uh, pretty, you have beautiful, but then again, meron pa rin silang degree of difference. Uh, hindi mo pa rin silang, hindi mo pa rin silang mong small, tapos sasabi mo, microscopic, or uh, magkaiba, hindi mo lang magkali, oh, your dress is so small. You can say, oh, your dress is microscopic. So you always have to check the meaning of the synonym first, and if it's appropriate. So sometimes we have the tendency to not to sound intellectual at times, but uh, there are people who would Google uh, synonyms, who would right-click synonyms, but 
it ends up that they use the term, they, they get to use the term uh, wrongly or inappropriate. Taught us by original semantic history, yoga comes from Sanskrit to joy. Oh, yeah, the mga sandali yung term, okay, it's our country, so a uh, particular belief, ayan. By illustration, <coughs> known for their shedding their for their shedding of their leaves in the fall, deciduous trees in good oak, maples, and beeches. So illustration, you you illustrate, you make them see, you make them imagine things. Okay, you give them a picture. That's how you illustrate the concept. And then function, a thermometer measures temperature change. So, doon mo pinapakita yung gamit ng isang particular na gamit. Okay? Analysis, you break down into parts. So, for example, a Republican form of government has three branches, uh, executive, legislative, and judiciary. Okay? And then, lastly, likeness or similarity, ay di siya, di siya last. But it's the last, it's likeness or similarity. Okay? So, similarities, like for example, brighter than 100 million tons, water systemic beacons on the shore of the universe. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung as, like, okay? So, ayan, or um, anything na uh, parang simile, okay? And then, number eight is analogy or metaphor. Germs and bacteria or antigens are like a dam. No, dapat ito. And President Sugiya, pero if you're talking about metaphor, diretso agad. She is the, she's the father of the family. Parang ganun. Okay, diretso yung comparison. But if you're talking about analogy, you could also use like, okay, or act. Contrast opposite. For example, and like those of gas, the particles of plasma are electrically charged. So, this word would tell that, okay? Uh, for example, the drink, uh, unlike uh, carbonated drinks, uh, green tea drinks are made of uh, blue tea leaves. Kunwari, ganun lang, okay? By negation naman, you tell us what it is not, okay? Well, rice is not rice, but at all but the seed of a tall aquatic grass. So, hindi siya kanin. Kasi mag i clarified that already. What the term is not. Okay? So, kung nai tayo din, are you clear? So, sige, ayat na. Ito na yung moment of truth. We are going to answer a few of the items. Okay? But I will have to check first. And let's, uh, let's have a rundown. So, you have 10 ways on how to eliminate concept. And then, a concept paper is intended to clarify a term or a concept or even a particular subject, okay? Uh, you have in mind, so uh, baga i-describe mo, i-describe, describe, clarify, comparison, contrast, etc. Okay? So for independent activity one, ito naman, write a formal definition of the following terms on the sheet of paper. So you could like do it na ikaw or you search for the meaning in the dictionary. Tapos, i-type mo yung form. So, always type your sources. So, bigyan natin ng sample. Smartphone meaning. Okay. A smartphone is a portable device that combines mobile telephones and computing functions into one unit. So, that's a formal definition. Business, cooking, exercise, and blog, you could also do the same. Okay? Then you could also uh, look for this more on the Google Gallup book. Okay? So, for example, the word Bathala is from the word Bathala, which is a uh, uh, supreme being of Ibig Sabihan. And the word Bathala, okay, origin from. Let me double check. But Hara comes from the word Sabi dito, but Hara is is a term of 
connected to personal vocabulary, spirit, etc. So just like what I'm doing right now, you'll be using your smartphone to to uh to check so the Tyler, the Tyler so can be some um the Sanskrit, okay? Sanskrit in origin. And then now we um uh, it's just now yin, okay, and I'm alam ko na kung which means talk, okay. Talk. Uh, I guess this is Chinese. Okay. Well, let's search. So, what is the Parang i i google mo lao in ph term origin. Okay. So, lao yin. Lao yin is like, ano. Lao yin is. Ayo word. Chinese. Yeah. It's a, a Chinese origin. So I guess you know how to do it. So you just need your data for this and you're good to go. Okay. So uh, yeah, you, you also have to look into the uh, origin of the word. Okay. So there's a uh, such place in China, Shu, Shu for Lao Yin. So Mandarin is very uh, complex. Sinta, Teka, Abad, you can have. You could um, you could uh, double check, okay? So makikita nyo naman. And then, independent activity, okay? Choose one concept, break down the concept into some roles into parts as the treasure answers on your portfolio, okay? So mamili ka lang na one concept related to your stress. For example, that you could get. Uh, personal development, okay? Then you have to de de describe personal development. Ano, ano ba personal development? It's a subject. What are you expected from the subject? When do you get it? Okay, something like that, okay? And then, uh, the assessment question then, passed on by illustration. So, kung baga ipapa-imagine mo kung ano, anong makikita mo doon. So, for example, we have library, okay? This is a room full of books. And other reading materials, etc., etc. Okay. And then it will amend by function. So on that end, definitely for education, it's intended to to, to uh, ensure uh, an organized, um, standardized uh, way of uh, instructing and teaching the learners of the Philippines. So alam na yan, okay? So di man pala masyado kailangan ng paayuda ng dahil madali lang ang mga sagot. Okay, it's more on a research talaga. Okay? So, assessment free. Okay? Identify what technique, is, uh, technique of elucidating is being used. So, number one, napak-obvious, philosophy comes from the Latin word philo, or philosophia. So, ibig sabihin is origin. Okay? Salvage is that the act of saving is the act of saving not killing life. So you're telling us what is not, what is, what is not. So it's negation, okay? And abacus is an instrument, balik na sa taasa. So ang um, kapagaling yung pagkakadefine is a formal definition. Ayan. Formal. Kasi nandun yung term, genus, and differentia. Okay? So tapos, number four, CVN, first chance, you're breaking it down. You're analyzing it. Then the party was amazing. It was super califragilistic Super califragilistic. Yeah, party ever. So don't do that. Okay, so that's synonym. Okay, so you got that. Yeah, it's an amount. Um, maybe can answer. Okay, so that's the reality of mga. To define you. So, mga mahar niyan sa Google. Okay? Ayan. Then, right to the definition of COVID 19. So, COVID 19, by the way, when you get definitions from the internet, make sure that you cite your sources. Okay? Ayan. What is it not? Uh, hindi siya common cold, hindi siya allergies, contrast, um, uh, 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 
is different from um stars, from um uh, mirth, okay, analogy and metaphor, it's like a hidden enemy, uh, it's like a cold but uh but um uh, a serious one, oh yeah, yeah, the day that the most of the past. Uh, and then for this one, uh, for your dress, okay, so those to present ideas of a project, okay, so mag iisip ka ng project, ang role niyo, ito yung governor ko niya, okay, ang audience mo yung mga players, yung counselor, situation, naka-isip siya, kunwari na, yan, so now we're okay na by this time. And then you have to write a 500 word concept paper, dun sa project mo. Okay? So make sure na pwede yung project and then kayang gawin. Your concept should be organized and deep and should be your original. So kung hindi nyo original, um, hide yourself. Pero hindi pwede hindi mo original yung buo. Okay? So I believe we're okay with that. So if you have questions, so free to ask. Um, I try to make it as, as comfortable as possible as, um, as informal as possible, kaya hindi nyo naman masin yung, yung, ano, yung pressure, okay? Pero wala lang ako, wala doon. So, so with that, I hope you understood what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to upload the next video right after this one, I promise. So, with that, if you hindi pa kayo subscribe, just click like and subscribe. And then, kung gusto nyo, may notification. Click the bell. Okay? With that, bye-bye! Oh, how high.